Welcome back guys to another PvP build for the Firestone patch. I'm on my saucer this time with a overload based gang build with front bar new moon which gives almost 400 weapon spell damage and curl riptide for over 700 weapon spell damage if you drain our stamina at least at 33%. A smithic Marcoon, a filler Skura for extra penetration and backed by just potentates for damage mitigation against players. Alternative instead of Curl Riptide you can use Netch Touch which increase our damage based on shock damage but it will only increase our overload damage not crystal fragment and not crushing weapon. Alternative to Marcoon you can use the other mythic item called Benhaza's Band which increase our light attack damage by a flat bonus of 900. Armor types, 3 medium armor and 4 light armor, full divines of course with max stamina glyphs, infused spell damage on the jewelry, front bar 2 maces for extra pen, sharp and nirn, poison flame damage and chant, and back bar sword and board just for extra tankiness, powered sturdy, with the escape is poisons. Skills Karma Hunter for minor berserk, major savagery, or more major prophecy on the sorcerer, and extra weapon damage thanks to Slayer. Barb tip just slotted for Slayer, then crushing weapon, which gives us major breach, almost 6k penetration, and on top sometimes even minor breach because physical damage can proc the standard status effect. Then Crystal Fragment, which I use as pre-buff, so I use Crystal Fragment, the channeled one, into Light Attack Overload, into Crushing Weapon. Like this we have a triple combination, which can hit around 30k+, plus. depends on the target of course, and depends also if everything crits. But in general, you deal around 25 to let's say 30k+. Plus. Then Silver Bolt, just slotted for Slayer and overload our ultimate. Back by critical search for the spare power buff, Vega Selfie, race against time for mana force mage expedition, simmering frenzy for extra weapon spare damage, dark deal for healing, sustain, I mainly use it for minor prophecy, where is it? Yeah, minor prophecy gives us 6% extra spare crit, pretty nice. And Spell War just as Defense Ultimate. Race Orc, probably not the best choice. Khajiit or Dunmore should be better. Mundus the Shadow Face is 17% crit damage. Sugar Scouts the Tricet Food as Buff Food. Vamp Stage 4, like this we have the possibility to go inverse even as Sorcerer with the passive and natural movement. If you continuously sprint for 3 seconds, you automatically become invisible. Pretty nice. Entry points all in stamina and potion the essence of invisibility for mage expedition and almost 16 seconds cloak. CPs Blue One Steady Aim Master Arms Weapons Expert, which buffs our light attack damage, so overload, then backstabber for extra crit damage, and recipes rejuvenation, passion, celebrity, and slippery. Combination First of all, use Seeming Frenzy and wait around 5 stacks. Like this you have the maximum weapon spell damage bonus. Then pre-buff yourself with search and race against time. Drain your stamina at around 33%. Really important. And use even dark deal. Like this we gain minor prophecy. The extra 6% spare crit. When you're done with the pre-buff, start with crystal fragment into light attack into crushing weapon. Super simple and super powerful. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Peace.